What is up, DJ Army of the Board? Awesome is John. More Dungecraft for today, and last time we were playing, or we were on Dungecraft here, I put in those electric uh, engines there from Forestry that are going to convert our uh, EU, which is IC2 power, to Buildcraft power, MJs, um, Minecraft tools. So I also set up these pulverizers that are from Thermal Expansion, kind of showed you how they worked. Now let's set up the um, furnaces that are from. Uh, thermal expansion furnace. Let's see. Let's get those in. Then we're going to start. Is that it? Powered furnace. That's it. So, more of those machine frames. I probably should teach my th thing machine frames, right? Well, nah. It's not really worth it. I remember what the machine frame is, though, and I know I just cooked up some glass. As you can see, um, I. Well, you probably can't see. I was out mining a lot. Did a lot of mining. Got some more diamonds, which I was really looking for diamonds. And I also um, came across a lot of tin, iron, and uh, copper, which is really great. That's really what I've been uh, out looking for. So I know there's iron goes there and gold. So as you can, yeah, you can see my materials have built up a little bit anyway. Let's just put that in there because we're going to need three of those. Actually, I should have just grabbed three, huh? I need to start doing that. So three frames, let's just leave that in there. We might need more. We're actually going to need, I know we're going to need the gold. So we got three of those. And we're going to need, I think it's three of those, um, yeah, redstone reception coils. I figured we'd need those, which we're going to need redstone for that. What else are we going to need while we're over here? Some copper and some bricks. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we're going to need redstone, copper, and bricks. All right, well, I got nine bricks. I guess that will work. Well, let's make some bricks. Eight. Uh, we're going to need 12 of those, I think. All right, so let's do the bricks first. Nope, we're going to need twice as many as I had thought. Once we get the main uh, processing area all hooked up and stuff, it's going to be a lot easier for me to process all my materials. It's kind of why I'm going after it first. Um, and another thing I'm really working on hard is getting, so we need three of those, is getting the um, solar panels all, cre all crafted up. I've already got two uh, LV solar arrays now, which is nice, but I need a lot more because I think, I have a feeling that the way I'm, gonna be, I'm doing this setup is going to suck down a lot of juice. So I need to be ready for that. Um, anything else? I feel like... Oh, yeah, bricks. There we go. Three of these. Nice. Uh, let's put them here. That's fine. Let's go down and place these bad boys. Now, we're also going to... You know what? My, while we're doing this, we might as well build our... Craft up our pipes we're going to be using, which we need gold for that, which is why I got so much gold. We're going to need redstone. I should already have redstone in here. No, it's this one. Here we go. We were using this, weren't we? Let's take all this junk out. I really don't want to use this one. It's not really my go-to one. I think it's just because I had glass. Let's take some of this glass with us. So I like working in this. This is my main um, project table here. So what we're going to need is gold conductive pipe. And that's how you make the gold uh, transport pipe. I figure we're going to need probably 24 of those. Now, to make them conductive, you just put redstone with them. So let's get one more piece of redstone. Oh, wow, that's convenient. And put it up in there. Actually, why don't we do this? I think we're going to need... Well, I know we're going to need at least 20 of them. So let's do 20 first and just carry these with us. So now we've got our furnaces, our pipe, but we're all gonna also going to want some buffers. Those are from Red Power. That is going to help us um, with too many stacks coming in at once that need to be processed. They can land in these buffers. And then as they're going out, uh, the same thing. They're going to basically the buffer it also works to convert buildcraft pipes to, um, well, I think I have bars to red power and vice versa. So I have some bars right here. We need three of these. Let's see. So we're going to need one more set of bars here. There's really no way around it. We're going to get 16, so oh well. It is what it is. All right. Bars and wood. Now, this should barely make us three. Did I just make it with the wrong the wood that I don't want to make it with? Probably. 
Let's put this away. All right, so now we've got our buffers as well. We're going to need some regular buildcraft pipe, but I like to use stone for that. Um, it's just kind of a personal preference, really. Let's just cook up a couple pieces. Um, I don't know. Four, I guess? That should get us plenty. So, yeah, once we get that all set up, it's going to be a lot better. Um, I My MFE is pretty much all the way full uh, with the two LV solar arrays, but once I have those machines working, it's going to suck a lot of juice out of there. Um, so, I wonder if I can craft any more of these. I don't think so. I was going after rubber, and I got a lot of rubber. Apparently, I can. Nice. While that's cooking up, why don't we just wait? Oh, okay. Refined iron is what we were kind of looking for. Let's just put four in there for now. Okay. There, that should make, that'll make four, or two of them. Okay, now I need ten. Let's see. So, I have another idea for how to keep these things, um, supplied. So, I can't wait to show you guys that. That's going to be a little bit later. I haven't even put it on my, um, to-do list or my, you know, project plan or anything like that. Because uh, I do kind of plan out what I want to build in advance, just because that way I'm not sitting here going, I don't know what I want to build. And I just had another generator. I forgot about that. Um, so actually, I could probably make another one of these. Let's see. I'm trying to craft up to at least an MV solar array, pretty much. So let's get a few more of those. We don't have any of that again. We only need a couple. So we need two of those, right? Don't need a battery because we already have a generator. So I think we're good. I think all we need is this. Yep, nice. Cool. Well, so I just basically pull these out. Once I get eight, convert it, and then I go pop it out there. There's no point in really putting it out there until... Uh, so we got our stone, right? Until I have uh, another LV solar array. So this work, these, uh, these pipes are built just like the other pipes. Uh, stone and then glass in the middle. So we're actually, we're only going to make eight of those. I don't think I need all those pipes. But, you know, it probably wouldn't hurt. Let's just add, get some more. Who cares? I'll eventually use them, right? Okay, so we've got plenty of pipe. We've, that's what she said. We've got conductive pipe. I think we've got everything we need. We've got powered furnace. I really want to make a chest to kind of capture all the junk. Um... Basically, for now, I think it's going to fall into here, but I really want a chest. Oh, I need a chest to capture um, all those extra dusts, because right now I'm not going to be dealing with them. So let's make a chest. Let's make an iron chest. Let's get some iron. Really need to start cooking more of that stuff up. I think I have... So, oop, whoa, whoa, that was crazy. I think I have some dust up here. Yeah, I have some iron dust. Let's get, let's get this uh, silver through the hopper here. Lots of tin... Oop. That's a tin dust. So nice to have this diamond drill back. You would not, you, I mean, well, you probably would understand, but it's been crazy. So what was I doing? Oh, I was getting an iron chest, that's right. So I have a, a thing for that. Bam. All right. So let's head on down. I think I have everything. I can just go back if I don't. Um, okay, so I was going to put that chest right here, wasn't I? So that means I'm going to need... To put these pi oh you know what I need iron pipes because this is directional very interesting can't just use regular um, pipes for this but I'm gonna need those anyway so it doesn't really matter in fact I'm gonna need one of those right there I'm also gonna need some red power uh, red power pipes I should have made some of those those are very simple to make too it's just brass ingots around glass so let's make a few of those too Probably should cook up some more brass. I need to get my uh, blue electric furnaces going. That's plenty for now. Um, what was I coming up here for? Oh, I need iron. That's right. Iron pipes. That's tin. I think I should still have some iron in here. I do. Good. And I, again, don't need that many of those just because they're very situational use here. Just need to put them in and then you can take the wrench. You know, might as well just get my wrench out because I'm going to need it right away. Um, you can tell it what direction you want um, items to travel through those pipes based on one of the, you'll see, one of the intersections. It's pretty obvious. Um, let's fill that in so I don't screw this up. All right. So 
I'm gonna put my first iron pipe down. Now, it's hard to see which direction they're gonna float. We need to dig out the floor a little bit here. Well, not that much. Damn, this thing is just over anxious. So let's pop another one of these in and see what happens. So the flow of the pipe is gonna to be toward the clear. Now this, it doesn't matter. There's only one flow. But when you put another one of these things in, let's hit it with the wrench here. See, the clear is the direction it's gonna flow. So we want it to flow this direction. These need to come out and keep traveling this way. We don't want them to come in here and get stuck in this inventory. We want it to keep passing through. And then we're going to put a regular stone pipe here because it's not going to connect in this corner. And it's going to end at this chest. Oops, I already have it open. Okay. So that's good. That's what I want. And I'll just deal with those as they pop up. Um, I'm going to eventually have a sorter there, but for now it's fine. Now, again, I have to work this one. Make sure it's flowing into that chest. All right, so we're good to go there. I can fill this all in. Well, I'll just, you'll probably want to see it, so we'll just leave it open. All right, so let's get rid of this. And our power furnace is there. Remember, they're going to receive direct dusts straight from these pulverizers. Let's get the buffer set up, though, for the top. Nah, man, I'm so incisive today. Um, Let's see. Hey, they flipped. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. Out the back. That's what we want. Okay, so let's look at what these things look like. Pretty simple. Uh, item goes in, it pops out. So there's really not a lot of configuration. The top is going to be the input, and everything else... Oh, we, we want the output to be on the bottom, so we're going to make that... Oh, it doesn't have a red. So we're not going to have any interactions on the side or on the back. These are pretty easy to set up. And you don't. You can leave this stuff. You don't have to. Well, I mean, the input and output that you want, you have to mess with. But you sometimes don't have to mess with like the back. Nothing's touching it, um, and it's only input. So it's nothing. Not going to shoot anything out the back. I just like to do it to be safe. The sides, you kind of can worry about it because it's touching another one of these things. It might try to pull right out of the other uh, machine there. All right, so we're switching that to output, right? Used to the other machines got a lot more options. All right. Well, we're probably going to want to turn that off later, but for now it won't really matter. All right. We're also going to want to put the buffers on now. So the items are going to come out the bottom right here, which I hope is pretty obvious to you guys. We're going to need to dig down a little bit more. We're going to have to put those buffers in there and then have a pipe running out. But first, let's put the buffer in the top. There's actually should be two buffers in the top, and we need our screwdriver to turn this dude, which means I need my tool bag here. Tool bag. There's my screwdriver. Okay. I believe it should be like that. I am not sure. We're going to have to test it. Um, so what we're going to do, actually we could still have this as the input chest. Gonna need a sorter for that though. That's fine. So we're gonna run some red power tube now. See here's the problem though. I'm probably gonna have to cut out that area a little bit right there. Let's put this one on first. So the way this bottom part works is pretty much exactly the opposite. He's gonna filter all of these guys into himself. And then his, I wonder if it'll just come out the side right there. I bet you it will. I don't know, the hole is in the bottom. Oh, no, it's not. I think the eject, okay, that's the ejection shot side, I'm pretty sure. Again, the buffer will spit stuff out a lot like the factorization stuff will. So all you have to do is attach something to it, and it'll pop right out into the tube system. I should have just put it out the front or out the back. Should turn those. I should turn these machines around so that I can put the buffer right here and have it pop out right there. That's probably a good idea. Let me try that and see if it works. Come on. All right. Must be night, uh, daytime. 
This drill is really touchy. You gotta be careful. So, like, look at that. It just. <laughs> it's making a mess down here. Can't wait till I get all this dirt out of here. As soon as I get all this processing junk uh, done, I can. Alright, let's fill this stuff in. We're not gonna need that huge hole anymore. I know there's probably some good innuendos from that, but I can't think of really think of them off the top of my head here. Okay, so cleared out some space, dropping these guys in. Let's do it this direction and see what happens. And now we can use the back to spit them out. Okay, so again, we're going to have to reconfigure these. That's fine. Out the back is going to be the output. And no other uh, outputs. So cool. Same thing with this guy. Input in the top. Side and bottom are pretty much not going to be doing anything. The back is going to spit them out. I really hope this works and they don't flip around. I don't think they, they will, but you never know. All right, so we're pretty good here. Let's see. We are not going to need that anymore either. Okay. Cool. Now, it'll come out the front, which is really what I wanted anyway, because it makes it a lot easier. I don't want it going too far into the floor. There we go. And that's actually hooked up perfect. Hook these pipes up. We're good to go. There, now it'll pop right out of the front. In fact, we're going to make it pop right into... We should probably just put a chest down here for testing. I don't have another chest. Let's go get one. One of the ones I'm not using right now. I've got them all set up, but they're, you know, like I said, not being used. There we go. Let's get this guy. Okay. I don't think I need the pipe here. In fact, I'm going to test that out. I don't think I need that pipe. I think it will spit it right into the inventory. So the buffer, if you can see, pulls in items from... It's basically a, a gigantic inventory that accepts um, inputs from any, any side and, and ejects out that front bar right there. So I think we're all good to go. Now we can hook up power. Um, I wonder if I can run the power on the back side. I guess I can't since I have those tubes in the back. That could be a big problem. Hmm. How am I going to run my power? I really wanted to run it on the front. Because not everything that comes out of these uh, extra slots is consumable by the furnace. You don't want to run it through the furnace. I could have these coming through the side or the back. No, that's not what I want either. Coming in through the front? The front doesn't have an input. Hmm. Hold on a second, guys. Let me figure this out. Okay, guys. This is how I think it's going to work. Um, I basically have the back pointing out on both machines. So that way, all the output just comes into this one buffer, and then it's going to shoot right into this, all this put into this chest, so we can test it. Um, I think this is going to work a lot better. I'll probably have a sorter here, because it's going to, some of it's going to sort back probably through the system into the uh, furnaces again. Um, that's going to be pretty interesting. I'll probably have it sort, like, into this one guy or something on the side. I'm not really sure. Or it'll probably just sort right back into the chest, and the chest, uh, the main chest will sort it back out into the system. The problem really is, how do you smelt dusts that don't need to go through the pulverizer? That's the thing that this system doesn't do as well as the previous Tekkit system that I had. Um, but anyway, we're going to try this out. It's going to be pretty sweet. Now let's hook up our conductive pipes so we can start this thing up. So we'll just do this. I'm not going to do any rocket science. Actually, I could put those underneath. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's see. Let's make it pretty, I guess. Oops. Damn. Drill? Jeez. Alright. We don't want just pipes hanging all over the place. Which, this part is going to look like this no matter what. So we really only need that one to go down further. Let's see. That means I need my dirt, because I need to fill it in. So let's take this one back off, because we're just going to... Uh, yes. Right, we got one more? Yeah. All right. 
that's running that sucker. I'm really excited to show you uh, the way you can turn this on and off just based on if it needs power or not. I can't wait to show you that. It's part of the new build craft is why I couldn't show it to you before. And this is going to have to go around back this way. Right. Yep. Let's see. Probably one more back. So it's going to go down two, right? Let's see. One, two. I should already have a hole here, so there we go. That's what she said. All right. So we've got the... Let's see. Running that power piping. And um, like uh, industrial craft, build craft pipes will lose energy as well, which is why I'm running gold conductive, conductive pipe. Um, it just uses a lot, loses a lot less energy on distance over distance. Um, let's make some more of those though. I don't have enough. Oh, I, I needed four more, but I'm gonna need more than four, so might as well just make another batch of them. Let's see, and make all of those conductive. Because even if I don't use them right now, I'll use them later. We need more redstone, huh? Redstone seems to be slightly elusive to me. Uh, when I do branch mining, though, I find quite a lot. Okay, we got 12 more pipes. Let's put that right there. This is going to be pretty sweet. Now, I'm also going to put those uh, power upgrades in pretty much right now because I know the system's going to need it. Because uh, we didn't we didn't even talk about the furnace uh, cost, huh, did we? Let's look. Oh, these are only two Minecraft jewels per tick. So in total, to run our system at max, we're going to need 12, 16 uh, Minecraft jewels per tick. Luckily... If we upgrade these, and as you can see, you can throw an upgrade here in the bottom. Uh, it'll upgrade it to four Minecraft jewels per tick. But it's instead of uh, six EU per tick, it'll consume, I think it's 15, but I'm not positive on that. So actually, it's plus seven more, so it comes out to 13. Um, so I think it's worth it. Um, where am I going to put these? That's my junk chest for now. Um, going to have to deal with that pretty soon. So, now that's all set up, let me think. Oh, we needed to make those upgrades, because our machines won't run all those things without the upgrades. So, there, it's a tin upgrade. Tin electron tube. So, two pieces of tin. Oh, five pieces of tin, wow. And two redstone. Okay, let's see. So, we already have the redstone in there. We're going to run out of tin, I think, on this one. Here's some tin. Let's rob some tin from people. It's another thing with all these... Uh, project tables, you feel like you're running out of materials, but really it's just all tied up in all the different project tables. Um, that doesn't seem to be working. Tin ingots and redstone. Oh, and a thermonic fabricator. What? Hmm, thermionic fabricator. I did not know that. Let's see. No. What's this guy? Ah, oh, it's a forestry device. Okay, well, we can probably make this. It's just gold, some glass, and a sturdy casing, right? What's a sturdy casing? Just bronze? All bronze? All right, let's get some bronze. Wow, see, we're starting to run, run out of materials again. Can't... No, we need more copper. Need lots more copper. So, for this part, I'm just going to make the... Uh, the device and power it probably with that uh, build craft engine because I really don't have time to hook it up to stuff. Actually, I could run it right off the. Uh, how come this is? Oh, it's the other way around, bro. I could probably run it right off those engines that are downstairs. Let's see, I needed. Let's get eight. I think that's how many I needed. Sturdy engine. There we go. Sturdy engine. Let's see glass uh, like this. I just have to kind of figure out what they're talking about here. Like so. Let's see. And then a chest, right? Jeez, it kind of looks weird. Okay, chest. No problemos. Oops. Man, getting all over the place. Bam! Thermomic fabricator. Or thermionic fabricator and you know I didn't even think to uh, that I was I didn't even know I was gonna be making one of these today so it's kind of something new you know what let's let's hook it up to this let's hook it right up to that blutricity do I have the blue electric motor on me I don't think I do 
dudes falling out of the trees. It's it kind of sucks to live near these. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna need a lever as well. Kind of sucks li living near these large tree biomes because monsters fall out of the sky where it's dark. Can't light up, you know, all the trees. That would be kind of lame. Oh, I need a screwdriver for this. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna need a lever now. And I wonder how this is going to work to power this thing. Let's put my recipe in there first. There we go. Maybe we should just put all of them in there. Okay, here we go. All right, now let's let it rip. It should generate me some of those uh, tubes. Let's look at the recipe again real fast with those tin tubes. Make sure I'm not missing an ingredient. Sand or glass? I gotta put some glass in there, huh? I don't have any glass. Well, not on me anyway. Alright, well, I need more than that. Well, I'm running low on glass. Gotta get more. I'm running low on sand as well, so... There we go. Okay, now it's creating them. Whoa, whoa, I only need four! Oh, it's creating four, damn it! That thing freaked me out. There we go. I have no idea how the how this is working, but liquid glass, nice. Oh, it consumes the glass and and creates the tube. That is sweet. I never even checked this engine out, this motor out. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna have to put one of these downstairs and hook it up because I actually hadn't planned on using this, um, having one of these downstairs. But I'm definitely gonna put one down there. Or above stair above ground. I'm gonna have some more machines kind of in this area in here. Um, as you can see over here, I'm gonna have a magma crucible, an induction smelter. Those are two uh, machines from thermal expansion that kind of craft different items like you're seeing here, just like add-ons and different um, you know subcomponents. So I'm not really sure what the heck this thing's doing. Oh, okay. I could have just pulled them out. Oh, no, one. Oh, that makes four of them. I see. Cool. Well, I can turn this off now, because uh, there's no point. Well, I'll just leave it there. Nothing else to do with it, right? So cool. I didn't know. Uh, now I know how that works. Neat. So do you, too, now, obviously. All right, so I got those four tin electron tubes. This is going to bump these things up quite a lot. So let's put one of those in there. And let's just go down the line here. No fuel. That's because it's not turned on. Buffering energy. All right. Oh, I missed one. It, nope, this one, right? All right, so these all have tubes now. They should be able to power these machines right here. Now we just have to connect them to a, a chest. And I really want to make a sorting machine to finish this off real quick. And we're almost out of time. Oh, oh, oh! Danzians! <laughs> In full gold, angry... Wow, this guy is tough. Jeez. All right, let's make a sorting machine so I can get this thing working, which means we're going to need... No, we won't. We will need blue tricity, though. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to hook it up to a chest. And that means I'm going to have to pump it out. Could do that pretty easily with a filter. going to need one of those anyway. If I want to do, um, see, red doped wafers. I don't have any of those and pistons. Uh, let's see. Let's set our, my alloy furnaces up real fast here. These are going to be blue electric furnaces eventually, but for now it'll be the ones where that require coal. And that's fine. All right, so let's get some, we need some wafers, which I think are in here. Yes, just one for now will do. And four redstone. And we're going to need probably some coal. Let's just use one piece of coal. Well, let's just burn this coal coal because there's no real other use for it. So let's get that cooking. No, you go in there, bro. There we go. All right, so I'm going to let that cook, and I will be right back. Hold on. All right, so I got one. I'm just going to cook up a few more so I don't have to wait for that kind of stuff uh, in the future. So let's get this guy in there. Filters are pretty easy to make. I do have a piston recipe right here, I believe. All right, so let's get that piston in there. Let's see. Now what do I need? Anything else? 
Cobblestone and gold. I have gold. Piston. I have a red dope wafer and I have cobble. Gets me a red power filter. Filters are pretty cool. Um, they pull items out of chests uh, with a redstone signal. You do not have to give them blue, le blue electricity for them to work. Blue electricity. So I'm going to pop... Uh, yeah, you should be able to fit right there. Where am I going to do the redstone signal, though? Probably behind him. So let me create a little staircase here. Which means I'm going to need a timer. Or else I'm not going to be able to... Let's see if I have a timer. I'm pretty sure I don't. Because that would mean I crafted some other stuff up. Let me see. Do I have a timer? I don't. Alright, so I'm going to have to wait, build a timer for that. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to put some stuff in and watch it um, process for this video because we're pretty much out of time. So let's process, I don't know, some copper, some tin, and some iron, I guess. That looks good. We'll process those three ores. So I'm going to turn my engines on. The MFE is running off two LVs, which I think it's going to drain it pretty fast. It's full right now, but... Um, I need the redstone. That's right, I need redstone um, to turn it on. I'm gonna get some red wool jacketed. Uh, if I have the if I have the bars anyway, which I don't, I'm gonna need copper or or iron. Let's use iron. Okay. Nope, you're done, aren't you? All right, we'll put it over here, and I'm gonna get some more redstone because we need red alloy wire, uh, red red alloy ingots for this piece. Because we're going to be making some um, wool jacketed wire is what we're going to be making. So I need a couple more of these coal cokes, I guess. Probably just one, but let's just use two. Alright, so that's going to cook up. We also need some red wool, which I just got a whole bunch because I knew I was going to need it. We need, I think we need eight. Oh well, let's just get 13. Man, the inventory is really starting to fill up, huh? Let's just look it up. Let's see, wool, jacketed, and we need red, right? Red wool jacketed cable. There we go. Ah, so it's a panel around one alloy ingot. We can do that. We just got to do this. I usually make quite a bit of this stuff, so I don't mind just making a ton of these because it's worth it for me. And that's probably we're probably going to want a um, recipe for that because I use it so often. Um, where are the recipes? I keep losing them. They're over here? Yep. Blank plans. Let's get one in there for that. Alright, so let's go get one of those ingots out of here. Mm, five's fine. Probably going to need two of these. And a lever, which I can create in my inventory. Let's put some of this junk away. We don't need that. And this. And that, and that, there we go. Alright, so let's create a lever because this is going to be there permanently. I'm also going to need some red alloy wire to hook the wool jacketed wire to the ground. And that's how you make it, just three red alloy ingots in a row. This is kind of like redstone in vanilla, but it sticks to the wa to walls really well and stuff. It's really awesome, I love this stuff. Um, it's really hard for me to do redstone without it just because it's so useful. I better eat, or the next zombie that attacks me is going to eat my lunch. Alright, so I was going to put these under here. Right along here. Probably should have opened it up from the other side, and it doesn't really matter. Alright. So, it's going to run right here. Right. Like that. Get out of here. And you too. Oh, crap. How am I going to get out of this? Oh, there we go. A little, uh... That thing's really overly aggressive. Let's cover that back up. Actually, we're going to need to do this. Alright. So we can run it like this. Now it'll actually touch all of those engines, the redstone well. Run it here put the the wire to lock it in in place right there and then put the lever down this should turn it on actually I'm gonna put it there so I might want to break that 
It should catch the signal from the lever off this side. It actually will without the ally wire if I just turn it on. No, it won't. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so our engines are on. They're pulling power out of the MFU. MF, MF E, jeez. And let's see how much... They gotta heat up for a little while, so they're not gonna be making much energy right away. It should be all pumping over here into these machines. They should start filling up. Um, takes a while. There we go. Now we got power going. It takes a while for them to warm up. That's not too bad. Is it daytime right now? Let me check, actually. Let's see if we're bringing in... Yes, it's daytime, so that's with the LV transformers running. And these things will get up to speed and actually pull more energy. So it should be dumping energy into here. You can see it's starting to fill this one up right here. Doesn't... Yeah, they're just not up to speed yet. Takes a while. Pretty sweet little engines, though. I like that. So you can see they're building up heat here. Really sweet. Now we're just going to wait. So let's get... Actually, let's get the uh, ores ready to go here. Let's put those ores in there. Alright, there we go. Okay. I might have to pause the video for these things to warm up, actually. There we go. I'll be right back uh, when I warm these things up. Alright, so I think I figured out what it might be. You can't just stick these tubes inside the machine like that. You have to actually put them in one of these circuit cards. Um, so, once a circuit... Well, let me just... You have to make a circuit card with the soldering iron. Well, you make the circuit card in this uh, thermionic fabricator. So, let's look at that. We're going to need four of those. And the small ones will hold one tube or one upgrade. This will hold two, and this the large will hold three. So I only need one right now. So it's a bunch of redstone and a tin ingot. Okay, no problem. And a water cell and a carpenter. Interesting. So we're also going to need to make a carpenter, which is where what you have to have to make a soldering iron anyway. So let's make a carpenter. This is going to be kind of weird. And we're way over time, but I really want to get these machines running. We might have to wait, but I really don't want to wait. In fact, we might be running out of resources. We might have to wait. So, 10. And we needed um, 6 bronze plus a plus 8 for the... Um, okay, so we're just going to have to make 16. Because we need a sturdy machine. And then we need... Why did I do that? I just cleared it out. Like this, and then two pieces of glass. Which we might not really... Well, we have a couple. We have some glass, but almost gone. Carpenter. Okay. Now, I don't know if this thing requires energy or not. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. For now, it's going here. So, I don't think it requires energy. This thing, I don't even know how to use this stupid thing. Uh, but we do know that the circuit... Circuit board here is six redstone and a piece of tin and I think some water which is really odd I don't know why you want water on your circuit board but okay alright so some tin let's get to making we need to craft four of these bad boys uh... you don't put anything in there? huh no matching recipe was found for the supplied resources okay we're gonna have to have some water which I have a bucket of water let's see Will that work? Let's just try to make one of these circuit boards. So we got water in there. But you can't put any items in there. It's so weird. Huh. Can you put tin in there? No, you can't. Interesting. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. I'll have to figure this out for the next episode. It's just running too long. Um, but we pretty much got everything set up to start processing. All I have to do is get these uh, electronic engines, or electrical engines working. And I think it's just because I put the tubes in incorrectly. So um, I will be back next episode and we'll get this thing working. And then we're going to probably hook up a couple other engines and machines and stuff before we hook up the sorting system so I can at least process all my ores and everything. So stay tuned for next time, guys. Later.
All right, guys, I did want to finish this part up for you because I want to get my machines running so I can process all my stuff. Now, the carpenter has to be powered by a Billcraft engine, so luckily I can just throw my blue electric engine up here, and I'm fine. Um, and then you left-click to create your pattern here with your materials, not right-click. This is not a regular crafting inventory or the actual items. This is just a recipe builder, okay? So I've built the recipe for small car, this small card here. Now, it kind of went on its own a little bit. It had a little bit of built-in energy. It's taken up some water as well. Um, when I flip that switch, it's going to keep crafting that item. So as you can see, it crafted another one right there, but it took away all my water. One bucket per, so I need to go get some more. And um, really what I need to make is that soldering iron because um, that's what I'm going to need to put those two pieces together, my two subcomponents. So I'm going to craft that real fast, and then I will sign off because I really need to make sure that I can get those electric engines working. Uh, if I do get them working off camera, I will show you what I did on camera when I come back to, so you can uh, figure out what I'm doing. So as you can see, it has some built-in storage, it looks like, because it crafted another one here. And that's fine. I don't really need that. What I really need is the soldering iron. So it's three iron and a bronze okay that's no big deal so we got to get that bad boy out and, and mess with it so we got bronze one piece and iron non-existent okay don't nope, nope three dude okay let's get this bad boy cooking then we can actually finish up so the, these are a little bit more complicated of machines um i don't know i guess that's fine let's see so I'm wondering if you just click out of that, and you don't. How the heck do you... Oh, you right-click to get rid of it. Okay, cool. Soldering iron. Go. Build me one. So now it's going to take all of my materials down here and give me one soldering iron. And it takes its sweet time. I, it'd probably take one bucket of water. Cool. So now we've got a soldering iron. Turn that off. It will not turn off on its own. And let's see what we can do with this thing. Okay, cool. Let's put the card in. And we'll put one of these tin things in. Bam. Increases output by 2 megajoules per tick and increases intake by 7 EU per tick. So, sweet. Let's just screw it. Let's just put it in there. So we put this circuit card in. Bam. Let's take all these out because I think this is what was screwing up, screwing with the power. Alright, now let's see what we got here. Power seems to be pretty good. And heat's building up. Let's see what we got going on over here. Power's coming in a little bit faster. See, I think those tubes were screwing it up. It's kind of like some, well, it's not coming in this machine very fast, but I think the, they are also still just warming up. So how's this one doing? It's not really telling me how many megajoules it's doing, or Minecraft joules. But again, the heat's still building up. Anyway, I'll figure this out off camera, and I'll come back ne next episode, and we can talk more about it. See you guys.